Let's have a look at the Mail. Um, Guardian covered this story as well, but Garnacho wrapped is the uh, Mail headline. Miguel uh, Alejandro Garnacho reprimanded after upsetting Eric Ten Hag and his teammates by undermining the manager on social media. Yeah, again, I mean, it's just an indication of the disciplinary issues at Manchester United. And it's also one of those, I suppose, where you, when, when Ten Hag's been in the situation before, he's tried to keep it in-house, shut it down. But this was so public. Uh, I mean, I suppose this, is, this is the risk uh, of modern social media and players going to be able to go on in that way, that something like this can spill out. And it just does come at exactly the wrong time. And, I mean, Garnacho has actually been one of the positives this season for Manchester United, a little bit like Palmer uh, for Chelsea, if not to that level. Uh, so it almost sums it up then that he's the player that actually Ten Hag has to reprimand at this fragile state of what a fragile point of the season. Yeah, there is an irony, isn't there, Jason, that he he has been one of the few shining lights for most of the season. Yeah, it, it's much easier for Eric Ten Hag to discipline Jaden Sancho when he's not playing very very well, and obviously Sancho went further than than Ganacho, to be fair, but. I absolutely think that he's going to be very, very careful here. He's going to be very careful with Ganacho because Ganacho, along with KB Mainu, along with Rasmus Hoyland, is definitely regarded as the future of Manchester United, not by the just by the club, but by Ineos, who obviously have, have now invested very heavily into to Manchester United. So I think their futures at Manchester United are far more secure than Eric Ten Hag's future at Manchester United. So he has to be very careful. However, to be consistent as a manager, if you're going to be a disciplinarian, you also have to take action as well. So I can understand what he's done and why he's done it. But I think, it, you know, if there's going to be a battle between the future of Garnaccio and the future of Ten Hag, I don't think Ten Hag will win that.